So I love Instagram. Well, I don't. I mean, I love free speech, but I love making reels on Instagram. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, it is really hard to tell a story in 90 seconds. And this story, I just spent a few minutes trying to tell it and realized it was too big to tell in 90 seconds. So for those of you watching, I have a really big announcement and I figured today was the day because it's 2023. It's a new year. It's going to be a really big year for me and for so many reasons. So for those of you that have followed my journey since 2020 and you know the origin, which is in summary, uh, I defied lockdowns in Oregon. I got cancel cultured by the left. I got targeted by BLM, Antifa, and the media. I lost six businesses. I moved to Arizona to escape uh, Child Protective Services, who was trying to come after my family for defying lockdowns. I escaped uh, the media, who was tracking um, everything I was doing and falsely reporting on me. Antifa was posting my pictures and following me and showing people where I was so that I could be attacked. And BLM was graffitiing my salon and also tracking me and um, threatening me, threatening my kids and my family. So here I am in Arizona. It's been two years. Um, I've been very, very open about the fact that I do not know what God's doing with my journey. Um, are you going to run for office? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Depends on what God says. Literally, we moved to Arizona in faith and lost six businesses and moved here and said, whatever doors God opens, that's what I'm going to try to walk through. And I'm going to try to be discerning and know that he's going to close doors too. So I did not start doing hair in Arizona. I tried actually for like two months and God said, you're done with that. Um, I got my real estate license, tried to do real estate, didn't like doors closed. You know, you know, when God's closing doors, like it seems perfect and it just kind of nothing happens. So, um, was very, very, like my faith was solidified when I moved to Arizona that I trusted that all of these horrible things had happened to our family because God had a different plan. And I get all emotional. And um, so every time a door shut, I just kind of said, okay, wonder what else he has for me. And the last two years have been literally just praying every day for guidance and for the right decisions for our family and walk, me walking through doors that um, only God would open, right? And I've I've walked through doors in the last two years um, that were opened that were not God's. And so what you guys have seen over the last few years is me taking opportunities that I thought were good um, that just weren't right. They were still awesome opportunities, but they weren't right. And uh, 2023 is is huge for me. So we launched Crown of Country, which is my apparel company. And this says gospel gangsta. Woo! So all like rocker, uh, vintage men's tees and hoodies and things like that. So check that out, please. Crownofcountry.com. Crown of country means Jesus is the king of America. Uh, it's all um, Jesus loving and um, patriotic loving apparel. So anyway, shameless plug. But my biggest announcement in 2023 is that I was just made the director of media relations for Freedom Square. It is a parallel economy for conservatives. You guys maybe have heard of it because they did a soft launch last year at America Fest. Um, and they're doing a relaunch in about a week with version two, which is huge. I mean, it is huge. And the people that are involved in this company, that have founded this company, are patriots. They are Christians. They are good, good people. I've spent quality time with like the CEO and the COO. Um, just gosh, this was a door that I, that I went through in complete faith. In fact, I had to give up other income to take a risk to join this company. And God has been, I'm crying again. God has been so, so faithful because just this week they made me the director of media relations. It is the perfect job for me. It's like, I'm the spokeswoman. I'm the face of the company. Um, I am doing their content creation. I'm filming commercials. I am doing their national news interviews. I am interviewing um, other patriots for um, content on their platform. 
it, like I'm a genuine news personality for this company. They are blessing my family so much with a real, actual, you know, solid job. <laughs> and um, I could not be more happy. And I feel like um, this is a, a testimony. I feel like you guys ought to look at it as how faithful I've been for two years, trying so hard to just do what God has called me to do and praying for the right opportunities and hustling hard for them. And uh, this is it. So Freedom Square, it's the parallel economy for conservatives. It's an amazing company. I hope that you guys go check them out, freedomsquare.com. You can follow them on Instagram at Freedom Square USA, and you'll be seeing a lot of me on there. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> uh, but also, I just want to remind everyone that um, New Year, great, new resolutions. This is going to be the new year. Screw 2022. Like, forget all that, right? God is always on the throne. He is always faithful. He is always um, persevering behind the scenes. He's always working when you don't know that he's working and i just saw that there's like baby spit up on my sleeve that's real classy Lindsay. um he is he is um he, he's always weaving we weaving um a web of blessings in the background that we are not even aware of so my journey i hope um you guys, the things that you're taking from it, I hope, is that when you give your life to God and you give him the glory and you bless him and you open all of your life to him, what you give up is not as important as what he's going to present you with. And 2023 is going to be amazing, not because it's a new year, but because God is faithful all the time. And um, I hope that you go check out Freedom Square. The, the new launch is coming in about a week. And you can go there now and just sign up, um, put your email in and they will notify you when the new site is live. My podcast will be on there. My merch line will be on there. Um, commercials, businesses can um, register there to get their business on the database. Um, resources, they are going to have um, history archives so you can educate yourself. Um, it's just, it, it's it's everything. It's going to be the hub for conservatives. I am very excited to be their director of media relations. And I'm very, very thankful for all of you for following me on this journey. And um, just want to say happy new year to everyone. I always forget how to leave. Sorry.